Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring something really exciting in the world of AI generation. Moving beyond 2D images into the realm of 3D. We'll be looking at Tencent's Hunyuan 3D, specifically the latest version 2. This isn't just any 3D generator, it's a seriously advanced open source system designed to create high resolution, textured 3D models, often starting from just a simple 2D image or even text prompts. What makes Hunyuan 3D stand out is how it breaks down the process. It uses one specialized part called Hunyuan 3D.it to generate the actual 3D shape, focusing on getting those geometric details right. Then another component, Hunyuan 3D Paint, comes in to handle the texturing, aiming for realistic and detailed surface finishes, even supporting PBR materials for that extra level of realism used in modern graphics. The system is pretty capable. It can generate models from text descriptions, single images, sketches, multiple image views for better detail capture and even create 3D portraits. They've also worked on speed, with turbo versions that can generate the basic shape surprisingly quickly, and they even offer features for automatic skeleton rigging and adding simple animations to certain types of models. Compared to other models out there, Hunyuan 3D V2 really holds its own, producing clean, detailed meshes without common issues like holes, and it's quite good at capturing finer details like sharp edges or even text on surfaces. Now, the best part for us tinkerers is that this powerful tool has been integrated into Comfy UI. Thanks to the work of Kaiji, there's a custom node wrapper called Comfy UI Hunyuan 3D Wrapper. This lets us tap into Hunyuan 3D's capabilities directly within that familiar node-based interface we use for image generation. Kaiji's wrapper is particularly neat because it includes a default workflow that streamlines the whole process. You can potentially go from input to a fully textured 3D asset all within one comfy UI graph. Think about what you could do with this, creating unique 3D assets for indie game development, quickly visualizing product concepts, building elements for virtual reality environments, or just exploring a new form of digital art. The potential here is huge. What really surprised me, though, was the performance. I managed to get this running locally and generating some genuinely nice 3D results on my system with just 16 gigabytes of standard RAM and only 6 gigabytes of VRAM on my graphics card. That makes it much more accessible than you might expect for something this advanced. So, in this video, I'm going to guide you through the steps to install the necessary custom nodes and download the required models so you can run Hunyuan 3D locally using Comfy UI on your own machine. It's actually pretty straightforward once you know where everything goes. And hey, before we dive into the setup, just a quick mention for my Patreon members. As always, I've put together one of my handy Windows one-click installers for this. It bundles up Kaiji's custom nodes and the specific Hunyuan 3D models you need to run the workflow, just to make things super simple. If you're interested in that or my other exclusive custom workflows, easy installers for various AI tools covering image generation, LoRa training, voice cloning, and Collab resources, you can find the link down in the description. Your support there really helps keep the channel going. All right, let's get started with setting up Hunyuan 3D in Comfy UI. Don't forget to like the video and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. Okay, so how do we get this running locally? Well, I've got two paths for you depending on whether you're using my Patreon resources or going for the manual setup. First, for my awesome Patreon supporters, if you opted to use the one-click Windows installer, it's incredibly simple. Just download the package from the Patreon post called Hunyuan 3D Comfy UI .bat, and once you have it downloaded in a dedicated folder, double-click it to run the installation. That script will handle everything. It installs Comfy UI if you don't have it, grabs all the necessary custom nodes including Kaiji's wrapper and downloads the specific Hunyuan 3D models, placing them exactly where they need to go. Once that script finishes running, just fire up Comfy UI like you normally would. Load the advanced Hunyuan 3D workflow file that came in the Patreon package and you're good to go. Easy peasy. Now, for everyone else installing this manually, here's the breakdown. 
you'll obviously need a working Comfy UI installation first. I highly recommend also having the Comfy UI Manager custom node installed as it makes adding the other required nodes a breeze. You can grab the basic workflow file directly from the link in the description. I actually found this example workflow within the Comfy UI Hunyuan 3D Wrapper Nodes GitHub repository in their examples workflows folder, so you might find other useful examples there too. If you're on Windows and starting fresh with Comfy UI, the easiest way is often to download the standalone portable version. Head over to the Comfy UI GitHub repository, go to the releases section, and download the latest Windows portable zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract its contents somewhere convenient using a tool like 7-Zip. To install the Comfy UI Manager, navigate inside your extracted Comfy UI folder until you find the custom nodes directory. Click into that folder. Now click on the address bar at the top of the File Explorer window, type CMD and hit Enter. This will open a command prompt window right in that custom nodes folder. Next, you need to clone the Comfy UI Manager repository. Type git clone followed by a space, and then paste in the GitHub repository URL for the Comfy UI Manager. Hit enter. We will also need to clone the Kaiji Hunyuan 3D wrapper repo as well. Type git clone followed by a space, and then copy and paste the repository URL just like before. I will leave both repository links down in the comment section for easy access. Once it finishes downloading, navigate back up to the main ComfyUI directory, the one that contains the Python embedded folder. Open a terminal there again, type cmd in the address bar and hit enter. Now we will need to run three additional commands that will install the dependencies for the custom nodes we just git cloned, and also an additional dependency call rasterizer that will be needed for the texture generation part of the workflow. Now run each of these commands precisely, which I will also leave down in the description for quick access. With Comfy UI and the manager ready, it's time for the Hunyuan 3D models. This workflow needs four main models to function fully. Be warned, these models are quite large. You'll want to make sure you have around 40 gigabytes of free disk space available. The good news is, the workflow itself has nodes built in that will automatically download two of these models the first time you try to generate something. We need to manually download the other two. First, grab the main shape generation model, Hunyuan 3D DIT, FP16 version. Kaiji has kindly hosted this on his Hugging Face page. Just find the file in the Files and Versions tab and click the little download arrow next to it. Second, we need an upscaler model to improve the texture quality. The workflow is set up for 4x Foolhardy Remacri, which is a really popular and effective upscaler right now. You can download this directly from Hugging Face, or you can actually search for and install it later from within the Comfy UI Manager if you prefer. Once you have those two files downloaded, go back to your main Comfy UI directory, navigate into the Models folder, place the Hunyuan 3DDIT model file inside the Diffusion Models subfolder. If you downloaded the Foolhardy Remacri model manually, place that PTH file inside the Upscale model subfolder. Now we can finally start Comfy UI. Go back to your main Comfy UI directory and run the run NVIDIA GPU.bat file or the CPU version if needed. Once it's loaded in your browser, find the Load button and select the basic Hunyuan 3D Workflow JSON file you downloaded earlier which I will leave linked down in the description. When the workflow loads, you'll probably see a sea of red nodes. Don't panic, this just means ComfyUI doesn't recognize the custom nodes yet which still needs to be installed. 
click the Manager button in the floating menu. In the Manager panel, click on Install Missing Nodes. You should see a list of the nodes required by this workflow. Go through and click Install next to each one. If, for some reason, the WAS node Suite node, which is a required node for this workflow, doesn't appear in that missing list, just use the search bar at the top of the Manager panel, type in WAS, find it in the search results, and install it from there. After installing all the missing nodes, you'll need to restart ComfyUI, which can be done by clicking the Restart button in ComfyUI Manager. This time, when ComfyUI restarts and you load the workflow, hopefully, all the nodes should appear correctly without red outlines. Before you generate, it's a good idea to double-check two nodes. Find the High 3D Model Loader node and make sure the Hunyuan 3D DIT model is selected in the dropdown. Also, find the Upscale Model Loader node and ensure 4x Foolhardy Remacri is selected. Now you're finally ready to generate. Find the Load Image node and upload an image you want to turn into a 3D model. For best results, try using an image of a single clear object or character, ideally with well-defined features and maybe against a simple or blank background. Remember, the quality and clarity of your input image will significantly influence the final 3D asset. The default settings in the workflow are generally a good starting point, but feel free to experiment with things like the step counts or guidance scale later on to refine your results. Once you have your image loaded, just hit the blue Run button which will start up your generation process. Now be patient, especially on the first run, it will take longer because the workflow needs to download those two extra Hunyuan 3D models I mentioned earlier. After that initial download, generations on my current setup running 16GB of RAM and an RTX 4050 with 6GB VRAM typically take somewhere between 5 and 15 minutes. You'll see progress updates in the nodes. When it's finished, you can check the preview nodes to see the generated mesh and texture. To get the actual 3D file, look for the High 3D Export Mesh node. Here you can choose the output file format you want like GLB, OBJ, etc. The final 3D files will be saved automatically into the Comfy UI Outputs 3D folder. From there you can import them into Blender, Unity, Unreal Engine, or whatever 3D software you use. So there you have it. That's how you can get Tencent's powerful Hunyuan 3D system running locally using Comfy UI, thanks to Kaiji's wrapper. It's pretty amazing that we can now access this level of 3D generation on relatively modest hardware like a 6GB VRAM card. The possibilities for creators, developers, and artists are really opening up. I encourage you to give this a try, experiment with different input images and settings, and see what cool 3D creations you can come up with. Let me know in the comments below what you think or if you create something awesome. As always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more AI explorations, and don't forget to check out the Patreon if you're interested in those easy installers and exclusive content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.